y'all. Welcome back on in, you guys. Welcome back, Kalita. Uh, welcome back to the system of the podcast. So it's terrible. You have been officially put on notice of the requirement to love yourself, mercy, see, and never look back. This is Psychic Medium and Diviner, Miss Sunny, you guys. I'm going to have to do a part two because my little sexy sexy, my friend called me out. <laughs> look at y'all. I ain't playing with y'all. I I looked up and it is, whoo, I was like, something real fine is popping up on the phone, y'all. <laughs> to not just the third party their past life the life they were living especially before they got with you and they and you gave them a taste of what real love is like see that's the thing this person thought they were still needing what they had before you know the fast life the player life 434 I just on the clock too they thought they were yearning and needing that back but when they got back out to the streets they saw that was that's not what I that, that's not even where I'm supposed to be that's what I'm seeing in this person's energy. They reckon this person basically had an awakening. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying, collector. This person had a major awakening here. 
For real. And this person, I saw her commitment twice. That's heavy in energy. This person is ready to come and give y'all a higher level of commitment. <laughs> and this person is deeply sorry. Huh? That they turned your heart cold. This is a purple rose. This person views you as royal. As very regal. This person, you are just so special to this person. Especially with this purple rose. Just regal and royal. This person, they put you on a very high pedestal. That's something else I've seen with the purple rose being present here. Beautiful energy you you have collecting. Um, and this person also, uh, there's dark energy in this too. Because what I'm saying is this person really hates the way that they made you. They turned your perspective about them. You know, this person, they could depend on your love in the past. They could depend. You were who uplifted this person. You actually gave this person an identity worth salvaging. You know, worth a, a life worth living. That's what it, that's what I'm hearing from this person. You know, um, and you build this person's confidence very much. So I'm saying, um, I mean seriously, and um, they hate that you don't trust them anymore. You know, that's killing this person on the inside. That more so than anything, like. You, you don't trust them anymore. Like, you... This person can't stomach you not loving them anymore. Like, yeah, they're ready to take the mask off. Because this person cannot stand the thought of you being single collective. <laughs> like, that's killing this person. This person views you as their divine soulmate. Like, this person does not want you out here ready to mingle with her. <laughs> Lord, how much? This person is like, wait a minute, cause, uh, hold on. I thought I was going to get collected to chase me. Collected should have called me by now. See, they were used to the, the, the karmic cycle, yeah. That's what was going on. They were used to the karmic wheel. And you fell off. You was like, wait a minute. Okay, you you played. You would have played me for the last time, boo. It's all or nothing. That's what this person is saying. They said, wait a minute. A month that went back, two months that went back. Uh-huh. Hell no, nah, this three months, that's past the mark. Oh, what's up? <laughs> I don't even, uh, this person began, they couldn't even look at this third party no more. Every time they look, start looking at this third party, they began to hate this third party. I'm telling you what I'm saying in here, y'all. They, every day that's prolonging, the more they started hating this third party. Because all it did was remind them of how they let this person infuse themselves in between this love. In between this connection. 747 just showed up and they, and they hate this third party. I'm telling you. They began to really hate this person. Because they're not you, and they never will be. This little Jezebel whole witch. Trying to replicate your energy. Something she can never do. How can you replicate an uh, empress energy? The empress cannot be duplicated nor replicated. The high priestess cannot be duplicated nor replicated. What's up? No, you cannot, ma'am. And all you're doing is laying on your back. I don't understand that. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> and you can't be looking good. She look over her emaciated. Her little demon ass. <laughs> Trying to do the hocus pocus. You know what she been doing? The hocus pocus with Billy Bob Thornton, Jacob Johnson, Mr. Johnson, Sir Eldred over on it on Fourth Street. Damn. <laughs> My goodness. Heartology, oh, y'all. This person is heartbroken. This person is sick as a dog, y'all. I'm telling you. <laughs> they are, and you know what? They sick. And they mad at themselves for trying to do this sneak attack on you. They caused this separation. They got caught red-handed. That's another thing I've seen. Look at this, y'all. They are heartbroken over this separation. This literally is more too, y'all. For real. This person is so sick over this. Oh, my God. They're praying to God to get you back. Divine intervention, y'all. Because they and they know they're responsible for they because they have non-committal ways. They, they want their freedom, independence. Uh, what is that? They let go of the other woman, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> other woman in the reverse. They let go of the third party. This person wants to be set free. They see this third party is nothing but trouble, nothing but the devil. For real, y'all. Like real talk. <laughs> Divine masculine. <laughs> there he is right there. Not what it looked like. That's what this person regret. See, they didn't see that this third party was a snake. And this person 
Earth is believing in divine timing, boy. They, oh my God, and they looking at their own snake devilish ways too. They, this person is doing a deep review, y'all. I'm seeing Dark Knight of the Soul. This person is looking at how they snaked you, how they stabbed you in the back. They, they looking at all that, and this person is really, really holding themselves accountable right now. That's what I'm saying. And this person is looking between the lines. They have to look between the lines. And they're waiting on divine timing. So that they can stop having this anxiety and this fear about changing their ways. This person knows. See, they're seeing for themselves that they they, they uh, failed to change their ways. And they wouldn't let their additions go. This is a self-review. And they kept trying to meet new people. And they thought they was going to fix their pain. Well, I go. See, that's the thing. Like I told you guys on the first reading. See, you, you're, because of the fact that you're a divine feminine or a divine master, you required this person to heal. They were sent into your life by the divine. You were who they prayed for. And you all were supposed to heal together. And you required this person to step up to the plate to become the divine feminine or the divine master. And they didn't want that was too much work. And so, that's why they went back over here to be with their little Jezebel ex or whoever this is. The little, the whole witch. There was casting spells on there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Help us, Lord. But this person is praying. When I say, they're also, I'm saying, they're praying to God to help them change their ways. They're trying, this person is desperate, y'all. They do not want to lose you. I'm saying. I'm telling you, two of cups in reverse. <laughs> oh, this person is praying over this over the lies they told you. This person just making this person sick to the stomach. Man, it, oh Lord, they regret chasing after all of this, uh, these one night stands and hookups and third parties. Oh, this person is really going through y'all. That's what I'm saying. What's the one? Healing and releasing. <laughs> This person is trying to heal. So they come back your way. See, that's another thing. Because they know if they don't heal, they won't be able to surrender. They won't be able to surrender to the call. And they won't have any abundance. Their abundance will be revoked. If this person refuses to heal, it's like the divine is giving them one more chance because they're praying. That's what I'm saying. And this person has to heal right now. There is no later. There is no keep talking to these third parties. There is no keep lying, keep cheating. No, none of that. The divine is saying, okay, you asking and praying for the collective back. I need you to start healing now. Immediately. Not later. Not a month from now. Not two days from now. Now. That's what the divine is telling this person. You must heal now. And you must do it now. Or you will have, you will revoke your spiritual inheritance. I'm saying surrender and freedom in the reverse. I'm saying abundance in the reverse. If this person does not do this, they will they are signing their own debt. That's what they're doing. And they, uh, see, that's what they don't see. There it is right there, y'all. Watch your card in reverse to coffin. Right now, and this person can act like they don't see it if they don't want to, but they gotta heal now. To reverse this death and their bad karma. <laughs> They broke the yoke. That's what I just heard Spirit say. This person broke the yoke, especially for those of you who this was your spouse. They broke the yoke. And you can't ever do that. People don't understand. That you have to understand this about marriage. You can't break the yoke. See, this this person is learning this. See, you can't get married and, and, and think you're going to play the streets like you did. You, if you want to do that, please don't get married. Because when you break the yoke, the divine will step in. You just, See? Booyah, third party uh, in the reverse. <laughs> they got, and that's what the divine is saying. They have to let this person go in order to escape the karma. Turmoil's in the in reverse. Storm. <laughs> this third party and all these one night stands and all this is nothing but darkness. And that's another thing I'm seeing this person. See, they're seeing. What you need is your soul to be edified. And that's what you did. That's what your soulmate does. When you weak, I'm strong. When you strong, I'm weak. We carry each other. We feed each other's soul. We edify each other's soul. That's what a soulmate is. It's much deeper than the surface. 
Uh, like I said on the other reading, all that other external stuff, that's nothing. Sex, you can get that anywhere. Money, you can make it over again if you lose. All that stuff. But the robbing of your spiritual inheritance is what you have to be careful of. And that's what this person is saying. That this is way deeper. This person is really recognizing that you are a soulmate connection. And you can't do certain things. You can't do the same things. Once you step over into a contract of the divine, you just stepped over into another dimension. This is not the 3D. See, and that's what this person was trying to do. They were trying to operate in the 3D while you're, they were in a six-dimensional relationship. Okay? And, and that's not something you can do. Because the divine is watching. And the divine is saying, hold on, wait a minute. I know I didn't just see this person do this. Oh, oh okay. Because the divine will let it just like when they're building a case on you. The divine going to let you do Okay, you going over there to be the third party. But the divine is still calculating all your wrongs. <laughs> and it just said he went up and went up and went up. And then the divine going to stop and throw a thunderbolt in there. Choom, bow on your ass. And then the next thing you know, you ain't got nothing. <laughs> Whole world went to have to serve. That's what they do in them court cases, yeah. <laughs> just like them people, they just like at the retail store. When they be in there, they be one person stealing the money overnight or something like that, yeah. <laughs> and they be stealing. They let them, yeah, they see you when you steal the first thing. They, they go in there and they, and they steal $5 from the register. Six minutes, uh, six minutes. They, they, they steal the five dollars. Then, when they say, oh, I got away with stealing the five dollars. Today, so let me steal 15, 20 dollars some more. So then they steal the 15, 20 dollars some more. Then it just said to keep building up. Well, I've been in that shit. Now they stealing 200 dollars, 500 dollars every two days. So all the managers do, because they got loss prevention watching your ass. <laughs> I mean, and they steady letting it build up and build up. And build up until they got just enough on your ass to file federal charges on you. And the next thing you do, you stand at the cash register. One of them little cashiers at the retail store. They stand at the cash register just to work, waiting on people. Oh, check them out. Oh, yes, ma'am. How are you? Welcome to Walmart. God. And they checking out the people, y'all. And boom, here come the feds. <laughs> they locking them up in handcuffs, y'all. <laughs> Stop looking. That's what that, that same thing spiritual judgment is. The divine just let it keep building up, building up. And then as soon as you get over here and think you was uh, that person don't want to be your ex no more. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> divine keep letting it build up and then let you get over there and think you celebrating. Oh, you done left the collective. Oh, you really slick, ain't you? You done got over here with a just be a whole witch that's doing spell spell work on you. But you don't know, I got a, a plan so swift for you that you're going to be praying you didn't go over there and be with that little third one. This person had been trying to send you messages too. Unsent messages. Because they don't, this person cannot stand this ending. Hmm? Break up forever. This person, but what the real I'm getting from this energy, this person is afraid to reach out to you. But they're still going to. Inevitably, this person is going to reach out to you because this person is in, in this man. This person is in so much heartbreak over this. This person is going to reach out to you because, like I said, they're ghosting this third party right now. They're not even dealing with this person, y'all. <laughs> For real, regrets. This person has major regrets, you guys. Major regrets. <laughs> I'm telling you. was leading them. They regret that. Not facing their insecurities. Oh, man. And that's what led them over here. That's why they're letting this third party go. They know it was due to their insecurity. I mean, it's like this person is really facing. This is like major accountability, y'all. And I don't normally see this. This is made. This person literally sees exactly what they did to you. Like real talk. They know for a fact that it was their insecurities that led them to walk out the door on you to be with this third party. 
They know that they should have never did this. That's what caused the silence and the coldness and the um, no communication between you two. And the severing of this connection. And this person regrets that, man. By, by being led by their insecurities. Why is healing here? Healing and releasing. I'm burning up now when I got the heat on you. Yeah. <laughs> I only be keeping it on like 72. <laughs> I'm in here burning up. What's up? Maybe that's because I got these incense burning up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dragonfly. Lighthearted, Adele. Finding out change. Yeah. See, this person is a, their, their work, yeah, light and healing. Things coming to light. See, this person is coming into an awareness they have to heal. This is, I like what I'm saying. I really do, you guys. This person, I'm seeing major accountability, and I'm seeing major healing taking place. Because this person knows they're also doing a life review. This person is seeing that because their insecurities and the pain that they were holding on to in the past, was what's been stopping everything in their life that they wanted. You were everything in a the partner they wanted. And I think about how they lost you because of that. I mean, just everything is hitting this person at once. Like, for real. And they also know that their insecurities is what's stopping them from reaching out to you. They even, they're even looking at that. And this person is very, very sorry for hurting you. I'm saying that. Collecting. Let me get a swig of this water. <laughs> yeah, the grass one green, y'all. <laughs> grass one green, the grass is green on the other side in reverse, y'all. The black <laughs> I know y'all. <laughs> the grass most definitely was not green terse. <laughs> And we will take a puff on that one. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> and you know what, Collective? Guess what? Because you are their star. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> Last time I checked, my Collective was the dang on star. And they will remain the star. Thank you, Spirit. And they know they're not going to get to star status. Uh, see, see, this just like, you are way up here, Collective. And this person trying to chase that you. They can't be no store till they heal. <laughs> Thank you, sir. They already know it. They got all these romantic feelings for you. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And all Earl Shine. All Earl Shine. <laughs> Hashtag Eddie Murphy. <laughs> the little Jezebel whole witch is on the outskirts. This is the best part of the reading, y'all. <laughs> Why she thought she was winning some y'all? <laughs> she didn't win her team. <laughs> Ooh, and she all ain't up with a little diseased ass. Look at it. Let me show y'all this story. Yeah. <laughs> Stop black collecting. Y'all know it ain't gonna be right unless I roast this damn just be a hoe witch. <laughs> Look at her ass. She all ain't up you. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Probably run around lying, talking about this, 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 uh, that your soulmate the gave or something. And it's a damn liar. She went and caught something from the, uh, all one of her little clients. <laughs> I can already see it in the spirit. With her little dirty ass. <laughs> this person, yeah, see, they don't want to be in this agonizing pain no more. Agonizing pain in reverse. <laughs> they want their marriage. And this person knows they have to heal. I'm loving this reading, you guys. Because what I'm loving is this accountability. Major accountability in the airwaves. This person sees exactly what they need to do in order to win you back. Because they want this union with you all. They're reminiscing over you. You know, they regret not chasing after you and standing up. And letting obstacles get in the way. This person does not wish to have any more obstacles in the way of them having you. That's what I'm saying. They Because the ex-lover is not in their cards. You understand me, Collective? This person do not want to be your ex-lover. They said, wait a minute, Collective. You going too far now. Not going to be mine no more. What? How you come up with that? <laughs> you not leaving me, Collective. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> you are not leaving me, Collective. That's this person.
words and saying, you ain't not, you are, I refuse to let you leave me sitting up in this heartbreak. Hold on, I'm sorry now. I wasn't, I didn't, I recognize I need to heal. Now, wait a minute, Lisa. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, this person is so scared you are not going to reconcile with them. Let me tell you. <laughs> they do not want this to be over. They're caught in the reverse. I'm telling y'all, they want this high level of commitment. Stop playing, collector. This person is so serious. And this, is, uh, this person showing up as a narcissist. They were a narcissist in the past. That's what, that's what they insecurities was lying in. And we all know narcissists are insecure as hell. That's why they were love bombing you, self absorbed, you know, one sided. You know, but this person, and I see them letting their anxiety go and letting go of this negative self perception, all this ego and, you know, lacking self confidence and self sabotage. They're letting that go. Oh, they're definitely working towards doing that and healing from this. Oh, that's what I'm saying, y'all. Absolutely. Tips, mess. <laughs> And what I love is this reading because I'm seeing major accountability here. And this person loves you guys, I'm telling you. Text message. Oh, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, this person, yeah, or maybe this person is afraid that you have permanently moved on. That's why they haven't sent these messages. That's what they that's the only fear and anxiety they're sitting in right now. This person is scared to death. Of you. Because they are not receiving what they need. Because this person needs you. Like. They don't just want you. They need you. Okay. Like. This is not a game to this person no more. <laughs> like. This is not. They are not playing. Okay. They need you. And they want to progress. So they can arrive back at your address. Like. <laughs> real strong. And they're letting go of this snake ass third party. Competition in reverse. Regret? They regret this third party. They regret everything they did to you. I mean, seriously. For real talk here. For real. For real deal. For real. Y'all, I just, wait a minute. Look at the rose going, y'all. New possibilities coming. This person is coming. You know, y'all know what I just thought about Patty LaBelle, y'all. <laughs> Somebody loves you, baby. <laughs> oh, somebody loves you, baby. Woo. Baby, let me tell you, this person is madly in love with you, collective. Woo. They are so regretting being in that two of swords energy. And, and, and. You know, trying to make it being indecisive with their decisions and all that. They regret that because they know without a shadow of a doubt, you are the only option. <laughs> Baby, they regret going in the wrong direction and taking this third party. They're letting this third party go. Third party in reverse, it keeps showing up, y'all. They know that all of that was a lie. They never did want this third party. It was about their insecurities. This showing up right next to regret and insecurities, you guys. That was all a lie. They never wanted the third party. This person, they, they were escaping their inner growth. That's what they were doing. And that's what that's what led to the end of this connection. Yeah. And that's why they start, they, that's why they were breadcrumbing you and acting and misrepresenting themselves as a karmic. Because this person is your soulmate. This person never was supposed to be a karmic in your life. This person is your actual soulmate that, that, um, that cavorted themselves as a karmic due to their insecurities. And the pain in their past. They refused, They were running away from healing. That's what they were doing. Insecurities in the reverse. Healing heartbreak. That's what's been stopping the insecurities. And that's why they know for a fact that this third party was also aiding in them uh, not healing, not being able to heal, dealing with this karmic relationship. 
with this third party, they were actually keeping them in a very insecure place. Yep. And all they were doing this third party was lying and laying their ass off while they were running around here having sex with God knows who. <laughs> Stopping this person from growing. And that's the thing, like I told you, they didn't want to see this person heal. They didn't want to see them grow or elevate. And they were jealous of the love story that they had with you. They know all about you. They know you're this person's soulmate. They know they don't hold a candlestick to this person. I mean, this, uh, this third party knows they don't hold a candlestick to you at all. There we go. Union in reverse. They don't hold a candlestick to you. Karmic. They're a karmic. This third party's a karmic. And ain't that something, ain't that something funny, y'all? The third party was breadcrumbing them, too. But like I say, they were over here doing the hocus pocus. The third party, whatever, who God knows who, yeah. So they can make their little $5 trying to do bobblehead. <laughs> Out on 4th Street, turning to the trick or two. Or 15. <laughs> and we will take just another vape break on that. Trying to convert themselves as a divine feminine or divine master. Knowing damn well they over here ate all of what they diseased up in. Down somewhere, third party, Jezebel. Leave my collective alone, ma'am. Or, oh, sorry, because you will never a person collective. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> and that's why he's ghost to you. See you later, third party. Because you're nothing. Uh, over here trying to lay up on your back and think you getting ready to keep a man. What? The third party of North. Oh, thank you, Spirit. Wow. Now, then I just tell y'all, I didn't even look at the bottom of that. There she is right there. Girl with a snake. The third party is a narcissist, and they were love bombing your soulmate the whole time. Acting like, yeah, acting like they were safety, comfort, and home. What I tell y'all, trying to replicate your energy. Collective. While the whole time, the third party wasn't nobody damn player. They were playing your soulmate the whole time. Trying to and pretend like they were the one fated to meet them. They were the one that was a divine connection. And they were a damn liar. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we see you just for exactly who you are, third party. And, and the collective soulmate sees you for exactly who you are, too, is now. Thank you, Spirit. And that's why they're ghosting you and leaving you where you stand. <laughs> Trying to break up a wreck of home. You reap what you sow, and karma does not miss in the dress. And what you thought? <laughs> and what's what's next? What's about it? Quit, like I said, quit playing my collective. Because <laughs> we see you for exactly who you are. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, she was trying to act like she wanted a snack, and she didn't got to let go. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's too good, y'all. Because she was trying to stop him from coming back to get you. Trying to stop it. Oh, don't go back to let Oh, I can't stand you. Quit talking about collective. Don't go bring collective. Let's make collective ain't nothing. Collective ain't up. <laughs> Ooh, baby, she hold her toe up now. Heartbreak. <laughs> Heartbreak comes in. She better call with Houston. Oh, shit. This is the Heartbreak Hotel. This is the... <laughs> That's all she's sitting there heartbreaking and she can she stay up at the hotel. That's what the heartbreak hotel about, y'all. Yeah. Wendy Houston knew what she was talking about. Cause the little hoe witch went with her husband going over there cheating all up at the hotel. She at the hotel, she done left him, so she go up to the hotel to lay on her back. And that's if she can afford that. <laughs> Cause half of them ain't gonna do nothing. Gonna bring you right to the vehicle and she gonna do the little bobble head and get one dollar. Okay. Cause she out here trying to feel like she was adding the cold spirit. That's another thing I'm saying. She was acting like she had all this money and all this y'all. I see her in the spirit. She was lying her ass off. Cause she thought she could do a, a, a twist and a turn and spend it on the pole. And that wasn't even good. She said it wasn't even good. Hell. <laughs> this man don't want you. <laughs> She's losing it. I'm playing for my collective energy. Why? Mom! Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Third party in the reverse. <laughs> oh, y'all. This is. I'm so glad I'm doing this part three. This part two. But I had to split it up 
it's a three hour because uh the sexy sexy call. <laughs> Stop that glitch. I know y'all laugh. And we wait a minute. Let's take let's take a smoke break on sexy sexy interrupting the uh meteor going on. <laughs> Spread. Oh my god. And we will. <laughs> oh Jesus. And let's see. The chaser. <laughs> In reverse. She's mad. She won't. She actually think this man get ready to chase after her. This man is not chasing you, but he's done with you. Ma'am or sir, either way. Because that's right, I'm, I'm defending my divine masters over here too. Where he had the little hoe witch, then went over here to be with her little, thought she was her new man. No, he was not your new man. And why you thought you was running over there, while you left your divine masters over there, you dirty little wench. You went over there, and he couldn't even get it up, you dirty dog. Or he was all defiled. The hell? We're playing with my divine masculines and my divine feminines. Do not play with my collective. Look, she ain't got no peace. Because she ain't got no money. <laughs> you been too busy laying up. Uh -huh. Narcissist. Yeah, she ain't got no... Yeah, what I'm telling you. She was trying to replicate your energy. This third party trying to act like they had feelings for, this, for your soulmate. And they never did. It was all a lie. Trying to act like yeah, she was a closet enemy. That's what it was. It was a play dream. She was really your soulmate's enemy the whole time. A closet enemy. Uh -huh. That's why Snake in the reverse. <laughs> What's this? Happiness. Yeah. It's that important to not make this person happy. And they're tired of partying. Well, that's important in reverse again. This person don't want to do this no more. And live in the moment. And you only live once. Your low And all that. Your soulmate is done with this. And that's what this third party been trying to keep them in. And they don't want to be in this no more. Self-indulgent in the reverse. What I'm saying, y'all? They don't want that. They're not chasing this anymore. This old lifestyle. Your soulmate is letting this old lifestyle go. So they can come. So they can heal themselves. And come and offer you a real level of commitment here. A high level of commitment. What? Wow. Competition in reverse, y'all. You can't make it up. <laughs> I mean, this is heavy in energy. Your soul may have not had no peace since they walked away from you. Chasing these, these thrills and all this. They don't want their lifestyle no more. <laughs> Truly don't. Before the TV came out, y'all. Let me show y'all the card. See, I know what I be talking about. They have not had no peace. This y'all right up under peace in the reverse. They haven't had no peace since separating from you. This person can't even sleep. I'm telling you, this person, have, your soulmate, have not had any rest, like a good night's sleep, a good meal, nothing since they separated from you. This person, have, they have not been able to escape anxiety and worry. They've been sick as a dog. I'm telling y'all, y'all, more than a story, this person is leaving the third party and they're leaving their old life behind. Okay, their toxic patterns, their, their toxic lifestyle, and, and the, the, the YOLO lifestyle, you only live once, and the player energy, and the one night stands, and the, and the cheap thrills, they're leaving all that behind, they don't want it anymore. That's heavy in energy. And they're letting this toxic third party go, which is probably most likely their toxic ex. That one of the crazy exes that, that was jealous of y'all's relationship and mad because y'all got married and all that stuff. You already know the story collective. And this person refused to get up out this person's energy. And because this person was weak to their insecurities, that's how they got pulled away into a pipe dream. And so they thought, oh, it's going to be, I want to be free. I want to, and they thought it was something else out there. And when they ran back to their old life and the old version of themselves, they found out, oh, this is not even where I'm supposed to be. I don't belong here. I belong in my soulmate connection with the collective. I'm supposed to be ascending. 
And then they watching you from afar like, oh my God. The collective really doing it. They really ascending. They're doing better without me. They're healing. They're ascending. And I'm supposed to be there with my soulmate. And this person is over here seeking it all because they say, what the hell did I do? I really fumbled a real one. And so they're letting all this go. And they're praying to the divine, working to heal themselves so they can come and offer you a high level of commitment. In the story, y'all. The third party is done. <laughs> I love this reading. Because I'm seeing major accountability and healing taking place by your soulmate. Okay, guys, let me get these posted up for you. I love y'all so much. Blessings and abundance on your magnificent journey called your life. Remember to choose this hour to love yourself mercilessly and never look back. Remember that you are someone special. That there is a divine plan that God has in store for you. That no one else can fulfill. And uh, the pain is your power. And know, believe and have faith that the divine can work this out. You know, sometimes people have to go through things the hard way in order to see their way out. And that's what I'm saying. You know, and, and sometimes we have to see it from that perspective. Because And another thing is, just because we're healed, don't necessarily mean somebody else is healed. Or just because we're at the stage where we're we're at a, a, a higher level of ascension power and we're healing, that don't mean that person is following at the same speed. You know, unfortunately. Um, and due to those circumstances, somebody ends up in pain, if not everyone. Uh, and that's what we're looking at. But the beauty of it, 4141, just showed up on the clock, is that the healing does take place and it's all in divine timing. So we have to stay, and that's what you did, Collector. You stepped back. And you let God. And because you were able to do that, I'm saying here that the divine is building this back up to where you're going to have it all. <laughs> Whereas it wasn't looking like you were going to have your soulmate, it looks like here in the new future, you're going to have not only your soulmate back and for good, you're gonna your career is going to skyrocket. An abundance, total abundance is, will be yours. And that's happening for you, whether or not this person heal or not. But what I'm saying... Because you passed the test. But what I'm saying here is because you had the power inside you to do the healing work, you have to recognize your soulmate. You did, a soulmate is one soul split into two people. And so by you ascending, it's actually generating power into your soulmate to recognize their wrongs, to recognize where they need to heal so that they can come back to you. And that's the power of love that we're seeing. And isn't that beautiful collective? So like I say, you all, you are very special and you are loved and you are beautiful and handsome. My divine masters out there, you're so handsome. Don't y'all be feeling bad either, my divine masters out there, because I know y'all be feeling like we give y'all a bad rap and all that. No, we not. We love you. <laughs> we love you, divine masters. Shout out to my divine masters. The divine masters is doing the work out here. They're setting an example. That's really showing the man out here how it's done. We love y'all out there. So we are not bashing men. We are not doing all that. We love you too. You're supported here. You're loved here. And you are someone special. And so, so believe that today. And believe that you're called to a higher purpose. And believe that there's nothing too hard. That the divine hasn't already given you the strength to get through. So uh, Miss Sunny loves you all very much. Blessings and abundance on your magnificent journey. Um, hopefully this reading has helped you all. And this message has helped you all on your healing journey and your spiritual journey of life. And of course, hugs and kisses. I love you. And I will see you all on the next message very soon here. Stay tuned. Talk to you soon, guys.